it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for doing this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is time for what I eat in a day, counting macros, calories, and WW points. Here are a few of the snippets that I ate this week. Some. <laughs> Wasn't the best week on plan, but when I remember to, and I behaved, I did feel for you guys. So here are a few things. I, and there's also a little mini protein oat loaf that I made for a reel that I threw in here as well. That recipe is on dishwithd.com. It'll hook you up in front of my tree that only blooms a couple times a year. So she's already unbloomed. <laughs> Got to hear as fast as I could. So without further ado, let's roll some of that delicious food footage. Breakfast this morning is overnight oats. Might look lumpy to you when you would be right. I put cottage cheese instead of yogurt because I needed to use it up and I like it. So <laughs> I had a Half a cup of rolled oats, half a cup of cottage cheese, 1%, six ounces of the salted popcorn caramel premier, uh, two teaspoons of chia seeds, dash of salt, maybe a little bit of sprinkle of cinnamon, and a splash of almond milk, just to thin it out. And that's breakfast this morning. It comes to seven Weight Watcher points. 366 calories, 37 grams of carbs, 39 grams of protein, and 8 grams of fiber. So yes, point-wise, it is 3 for the oats, 1 for the Premier, 2 for the cottage cheese, and 1 for the 2 teaspoons of chia seeds. That's my breakfast this morning. Can't wait to dig in. It's my favorite. This protein is really good, and honestly, try cottage cheese in your milk. Doesn't look good, I will admit, but it tastes really good. Well, that's all that counts. All right, D here with a little bit of a PSA or public service announcement. If you have not tried the King Lion Nutrition Edible Cookie Dough, you need to. They're available here on Instagram. They have a, an Instagram page and they're only available online. Fantastic. Two tablespoons is 90 calories. If you have one, it's 45. One tablespoon is one point on Weight Watchers. Two tablespoons is three points on Weight Watchers. But you also get five grams of protein in the two tablespoon serving, and it's cookie dough. Honestly, it's phenomenal. I just tried the Monster Cookie, and I love it. So I do have a 10% off from there if you're interested in trying it. If you love edible cookie dough like I love edible cookie dough, and I say take the plunge, try it once. See how you like it. Good job. I give it a five out of five. Lunch on my Uber home divided dish. I have the rest of my spinach dip. I have the Snack Factory pretzel crisp garlic and herb. These are the minis. I have leftover broccoli from dinner, radish, carrots, um, 109 grams of the cooked ham, and a hard boiled egg. Comes to nine Weight Watcher points, 397 calories, 23 grams of carbs, 27 grams of protein, and 22 grams of fat. I'm gonna put some mustard on my ham to dip it in, but that's gonna be my little girl lunch today. Having a post-glam workout with a one peanut butter crunch. This is the only one of that brand that I like. It's really good. 12 grams of protein, 160 calories. I believe it's three or four points. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna enjoy this for my snack today. Dinner tonight is some air fried chicken breast. I topped it with some tomato salad and a little Parmesan cheese, the Mexican ripe rice and some air fried broccolini. So it is 425 calories, 30 grams of um, carbs, 58 grams of protein, seven grams of fat and five Weight Watcher points. Let's dig into this deliciousness. Breakfast this morning is a breakfast burrito using an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap with eggs, one slice of uncured Canadian bacon, asparagus, peppers, and onions, and there is a quarter cup of Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese. I'm also going to be having that with an avocado mash. So it is six WW points, two for the mash, one for the wrap, two for the cheese, and one for the Canadian bacon. It is 355 calories, 200... 355 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, and 21 grams of fat. So that is my breakfast this morning. Before we get started, I just want to do a little plug here for a company that reached out to me. And when I to say I was thrilled was beyond measure because I've used this product in the past. I've you've heard me talk about this product in the past. So I was like, okay, you know, like I did unsponsored videos for them because I like them so much. Why just stop using it? Because other products 
asked for my, you know, so I was using those. Not that I didn't like this, but I can't use both. <laughs> so, so, but um, Bellway. Bellway Beauty Fiber has always been one of my favorites. They don't have the matcha anymore. I'm a little bit sad about that. But this watermelon is really, really good. Now, what I love about it, it's super fiber and collagen. So you're getting both. When I tell you that this gets rid of my bloat, I'm not kidding. Um, that's why I used to take it in the past. Is it a little pricey? Honestly, it's not any price of anything else that you buy. I mean, look at the price of Metamucil. And, oh, that's ridiculous. But what they also came out with, super new, which I've never even had, is the super fiber gummies. I think they're in raspberry lemon. I've never had their gummies. So the last couple of days I've been taking them and they're in the shape of little raspberries. I will show you. That. I love anything that comes in a gummy. You know me, comes in a gummy, I'll try it. So between the gummies and the collagen, let's just say things are moving, which I think is interesting, which I wanted to share, my little TMI, but since I started counting calories and macros last three weeks, I've noticed a significant drop in me using the bathroom. How else can I say it? Which is funny because back when I started Weight Watchers, same thing happened. I got constipated. You'd think eating less and eating fiber and vegetables, you'd go more. I go less. <laughs> so I knew I was on the right track when I stopped going because that's how it happened last time. I'm like, oh my gosh, when I did Weight Watchers, there'd be days, days. So when I got this, I'm like, oh, Oh, like, because that's what I took back in the day. So I was like super excited to do it again. And lo and behold, I'm not gonna lie, things were moving every day. So I usually take my supplement drink in here, but I wanted to show you the pretty color and how quickly it comes together. And I just chug my beauty collagen. And collagen is really good for hair, skin, and nails. I mean, look at my hair. You've seen the growth in my hair. My nails are like, I, I can't. <laughs> so now it's not a complete protein that's in these collagens. If you see collagen and protein, it's not a complete protein. So it's not the protein that if you're looking to build muscle, that's not that type of protein, but it's not a bad protein either. So I'm going to drink this and get my asparagus prepped. If you're prepped, if you're interested in trying Bell White, I'll have a discount and a link in my down below. You can try it out. It is one of my favorites. Bellway, thank you for reaching out. Lunch today in my cute little Oba home divided dish. This comes in handy for girl lunch. I have 83 grams of cooked ham, a pickled egg. I only have one more left. This is some classic puff corn, bell pepper, carrot, cucumber, radish, heart of palm, and a string cheese. This is my lunch today. It comes to 10 points, 339 calories, 12 grams of carbs, 28 grams of protein and 19 grams of fat. I will be putting mustard on this. I've forgotten some of my ham. So that is my lunch today on my cute little uber divided dish. I have my puff corn in one section, my protein in another, and my veg in the other. Minus that. That should be over here. I have $5 off from Uber Home, as you always know. If you're interested in trying this ceramic cute divided dish, it is pre-measured for you. So I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. Dinner tonight is leftover chicken, three ounces of potatoes, and some Brussels sprouts. So it comes to four WW points, 200 calories, 18 grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein, and two grams of fat. There may be some ham in this plate later. I'm not sure. This is leftover ham. I'm not sure if I want it, but I definitely have room for it, but I'm undecided whether I really want it. So we're going to stick with this for right now. I'm going, I am going to add some ketchup on those potatoes, but that will be my dinner tonight. Come with me and let's make a mini protein oat loaf. In a bowl, we mash one very ripe banana. To that, we were going to add a serving of your favorite protein powder. I'm using Clean Simple Eats cinnamon roll, but you can use any flavor you like. To that, we're going to add incredible edible egg and some vanilla extract. And then we will have our spice blend with our baking powder, salt, and a little bit of flour. A little bit of Truvia Sweet Complete, some quick oats to round it off. And then we were going to add 30 Lily chocolate chips. Put it in a prepared mini loaf pan and then bake it 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, till she is, comes out clean. She has 31 grams of protein. 
For the full written recipe, go to dishwithd.com for everything and follow for more. Applebee's Oriental Chicken Salad. There you have a salad worth over 20 points and over 900 calories. But there is 50 grams of protein in it, but yeah, a high point salad. Breakfast this morning is pancakes. We have La Canto pancakes this morning. Third cup, third cup of unsweetened almond milk and one egg. Makes about what, four nice sized pancakes. I top it with a serving of peanut butter powder. I have the, I think it's butterscotch on there today. And an eighth of a cup of kind high fiber granola. The pancakes are three points, the peanut butter, is one point and the granola is one point. So it's four points on Weight Watchers, 260 calories, 37 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein, and 13 grams of fat. I'm going to dig into this. I love texture with my pancakes. I'm an oddball, I know, but this is like my favorite new breakfast. Dinner out at my sister-in-law's, there was a salad. There was white chicken chili, which is broth based, and a piece of bread, and a caffeine-free Diet Coke. I didn't know how to point it and calorie it, but I know it was a decent amount. I wasn't worried about it. It was really good. Breakfast this morning is an English muffin breakfast sandwich. I have a Thomas's Light English muffin. I have one slice of the uncured turkey Canadian bacon, one thin slice of Sargento's ultra thin provolone, and an egg. It comes to five Weight Watcher points, 252 calories, 26 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat. The Sargento cheese is two WW points, but 40 calories. I decided to opt for it because I don't have cheese today. And that is a egg from the Rise and Shine Coop. It's a little bit larger than a large. It really is pretty big. But that is my breakfast this morning. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? What I hauled in my Thrive Market, cactus water. I've seen somebody else haul it, it sounded interesting. It's hydrating, it's prickly pear flavored, super hydration, rare antioxidants and skin benefits. So you know me. Hmm, interesting color. It smells like pear. Mm, now it's not carbonated, it's regular water. Like, well, not regular water, but it's not carbonated. It's not like a seltzer. I like it. I like the flavor. I like the idea it's cactus water. I don't know. I'm into something interesting and new. So it gets a five out of five for me. It is one WW point if you're interested and 25 calories. So honestly, it doesn't bother me. I'm not going to have four of them a day or anything. But one every once in a while, never hurt anybody. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? As you have lunch on your face. I'm tasting the Kind Zero, Zero sh Added Sugar. No artificial sweeteners, dark chocolate, nuts, and sea salt. Keto friendly, one gram of total sugar, four grams of net carbs, five grams of protein, five Weight Watcher points. And um, it's low sodium, no sugar, alcohols, gluten free, zero trans fats, high in fiber. 13 grams of fiber per bar, so we're actually lower the carbs. There it is, it says it's four net carbs right in the back. If you're a net carb person, and the calories are 150. I got this free on uh, Facebook. They were having, you want a free zero sugar bar? I'm like, okay. So anybody could have gotten it. I don't know if anybody saw that and got it. I should probably just shared it. Now that I think about it, I probably should have put it in the group, and I didn't. Bad me. I think it's open. Well, it's a great bar because you can't get it open. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now, five points is a bit steep, but look at all the nuts in there. I mean, I'm just gonna grab a piece. I mean, it's full of nuts. So, I mean, kind bars, it's gonna be good. I mean, it's a lot of nuts. Honestly, I think it's fantastic. Kime, I give you a five out of five. It's delicious. Do you approve? Having an afternoon snack of some Lake Air cinnamon bun, 100 calories and five WW points. A nutritional, <laughs> nutrition in here. I think there's a, a gram of uh, protein. So I'm gonna have a snack. Cinnamon bun for the win. Breakfast this morning is a bagel sandwich. I have a Western bagel, alternative bagel, 
I have one piece of ultra thin provolone from Sargento, a slice of Canadian bacon, egg, and some of this new to me Heinz pickle tomato ketchup. It is only 15 calories for the serving of a tablespoon, which I do not even have, but it comes to five Weight Watcher points, three for my bagel, two for my cheese, 237 calories, 27 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, and eight grams of fat. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm super duper hungry, and this just is going to be a delicious breakfast sandwich. That's my breakfast this morning. I also have 10% off Western bagels if you need you want to try them out. They have high protein bagels, and they are a beautiful size, and they're absolutely delicious. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed seeing a few of the things that I got to film. Anything that I mentioned that has a code, a link will be listed in the description box below, along with the link to that recipe to dishwithy.com. We'll hook you up. I think I'm doing a chocolate one this week. Have a banana that's going south and easy to get used. So let's make a chocolate protein breakfast loaf. What do you say? All right, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a big old thumbs up. Comment below if there's something there that sparked your interest you'd like to try. If you haven't thought of before, I'd love to hear it. Have you not yet hit that subscribe button? Join us here at Dish with D, where we are cooking up healthy, delicious, light recipes. So if there's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Join our community here on the tube, and I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you later, 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 Gators. <laughs>